not going for diamonds or gold. They're not going to stake out a USA claim on anything. They're going because they believe that America, if it can export its freedom, if it can export the concept that free people provide us a safer world, that's why they've raised their hand. This 234-year-old experiment that we call America is fragile, and sometimes we're so used to it, we take it for granted. But those volunteers that whose lives you're saving by your diligence, by your desire to turn out the best product, the best quality product under the harshest conditions, and some young soldier somewhere, life is going to be spared because of it. And so I'm here really to thank you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for the engineering. Thank you for the creativity. Thank you for going to the war zone and bringing back their ideas and putting them into a practical way for them to use. Shift gears just a minute. Uh, Larry Dodson was a friend of mine. Uh, his untimely death was a shock to us all. I don't think I've seen anybody that looked better than he did. Thin, agile, athletic. You see, we, we know that this world is a, is, a, is a dangerous place, even right here. And so we make friends and we make acquaintances and we see people that change our lives and we need to be thankful for it every day because we don't know what tomorrow will bring. And so just as a small token of appreciation, I have a, a little declaration here to present. And on a lighter note, General Dodgson and I were both LSU Tigers. And that's all we talked about. So, <laughs> so uh, he, grew, he grew up across the river from New Orleans, and uh, he was a wonderful guy, tremendous talent, cared deeply about his people. Uh, just cared deeply about the people that he met and those he was responsible for. This is a, a, a tribute from the that we were going to submit in the congressional re record that uh, that we uh, delivered to the to the House of Representatives on the floor. And um, Madam Speaker, I rise today to pay tribute to a great American who was a good friend of mine and a good friend of North Alabama, Lieutenant General Larry Dodgett. General Dodgen passed away this past Saturday, leaving a void in our Huntsville community. He was a battle-tested soldier, having led his battalion into war in 1993 during Desert Storm. Later in his career, he became commander of the U.S. Army Aviation Missile Command at Redstone Arsenal. He assumed this command on September 10, 2001, and led during a trying and transformative time in our nation's history. Following that duty, in 2003, he was tapped to command the U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command, Army Forces Strategic Command headquartered at Redstone Arsenal. He was fully invested not only in the arsenal, but also in the Huntsville community. And I think each and every one of you that knew him knew where his heart was and what a good, good, solid person he was. He was a leader in the base realignment and closing process on Team Redstone. Following his retirement from his distinguished career in the United States Army, he remained in the community and became the corporate lead executive of Northrop Grumman's Huntsville operations. Men such as General Dodgen are rare. He was a true servant. Fully involved both in the profession and his community. My thoughts and prayers are with his wife Leslie and his many friends and family who are mourning at this time. Next month I will join with many others to honor him as he is laid to rest among his fellow heroes at Arlington National Cemetery. We will all truly miss this great man and are better for having had the opportunity to know him. Thank you.